and we are back with uh, this and uh, so I couldn't really figure out how to uninstall it so what I did instead was I just uh, got rid of the bin folder tried to do that Could, then, I, then it said like okay well you gotta play online once first before you can actually play offline but okay so I went to minecraft.net tried to play it there and it was being dumb because I updated Java, I did everything I was supposed to, and it was still being a little bitch. Okay, um, I'm gonna kill you. I know I can shear them, but I don't feel like I'm gonna... I don't even think I have enough iron to make the shears. I might, I don't know. There are a lot of pigs. Pigs and chickens and everything that I like. So this is actually the default uh, texture pack. And to be honest, I actually kind of like this one better. And you'll see see the sun is uh, just a big square and it's all don't even tell me it's already setting wait didn't it rise over there before oh shit it is setting son of a bitch man <sighs> give me that pork give me your chicken and your feathers we might just have to I think we have enough wool now do I have enough wool yeah okay cool so I can make a bed now which is good and, uh, yeah, so I just had to, um, download the launcher again, and then I was able to do it that way. So that's good, right? right. But I don't have any more mods, but that's good, because the mods were actually sort of screwing up the lag. So now, it actually runs pretty fast. I could probably even set this to, uh, to fancy. Can I set it to fancy? Eh, not too bad. So now the trees have a nice little particle shape to them. Cute little particle shape. Um, yeah. So, got all this stuff. I'm level 1 now. I don't even know what the point of the levels are, but... Yeah, it does that cool stuff. Can level up. Also, if you'll notice there, I now have a food meter. The food meter basically just says, hey, guess what? You're getting hungry. And, like, when it's full, you regenerate health slowly. Then, once it, like, loses one or two, I think it's, like, one meat thing or whatever, then you won't regenerate health. And then if you get really low, you'll actually start losing health. And it'll start knocking you down. So you have to constantly eat now. It's getting dark. Um, you know what? Sheep, you can stay there. Um, house is over there? And, uh, sprint, you gotta... That's the weird thing about this game is that you have double tap sprint just to be able to, uh, or double tap uh, W to sprint. I think is sprinting will uh, cause you to get hungry faster. So now it's becoming nighttime. I can head back here to my little abode. Set up that. See, I like the warmer light that comes from the torches and the standard thing. Wow, that's some pretty, some pretty fucked up shadows there, but. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, what is it, shift? Yeah, there we go. Shift, right click, deposit stuff. Now we can go cook some meat. Meat is good. It's good for the soul. And we can also create a bed. If you know how to create a bed, get your base down there. Take some wool, doesn't really matter what color it is. And you got yourself a bed. So now I can place... Now the thing about the bed is, is that you have to be very careful because if you place it near... If you don't like... If you don't... Sorry. If you place it too close to somewhere that's outside or if it's not enclosed at all, like this. So we're gonna... We're just gonna block this up. Say screw you, nighttime, goodbye. Um, like a monster will spawn in. So we're gonna have our sword at the ready. And we're gonna sleep. And if we wake up and there's something beating on my ass, well, then we can kill it. And we are good. So, now we are good to go. Got my cooked pork chops. Just in case I get hungry. And we're gonna go chop down some more trees. Because we're lumberjacks in this game. Come on, guys. Come on, fellow YouTubers. Watch me go chop down some trees. Sounds like fun, right? Right. Glad y'all think it's enjoyable. So anyway, I was mentioning something earlier about Amnesia. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Amnesia, or seen Amnesia, or seen anyone play it. Something firing an arrow at me? 
There's a... Okay, I thought I, was, I thought I heard something. See, even in daylight, I'm just like, oh, there it is. There you are. You little trying to trying to camp, can't trying to camp over here. Yeah, give me your experience and give me your bones. I want your bone meal. And you know what? We're gonna we're gonna torch this place up over here. We're gonna we're gonna flame on over here. So no, we're not gonna have any of this bullcrap of crap spawning. Fuck that. Take his arrows. No, they're just gonna be stuck in the block, aren't they? Yep. See, I knew I thought I saw an arrow. Anyway, so uh, amnesia is a um, it's like a it's a survival horror game, pretty much. But it's not like survival horror, like oh, kill all the zombies that you can and try to survive. It's more like you can't kill the enemy. There, like there is no enemy that you can kill. Like, you can't just use a gun and just go pew 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 and the enemy dies. No, it's it's different than that. I mean, you have to hide and be scared like a little bitch throughout the whole entire game. You have to, like, run from the monster and all that. And, like, you have, like, a sanity meter. Like, the longer you're in the dark, the like, the more insane you become. And so, like, shit starts happening. So, like, the monster will appear more often. Or, like, your screen will shake. I mean, it's 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 not fun at all. Well, the game is fun, I'm sure. I've never actually played it, but I've seen uh, Day 9 play it. I was watching with that that with some of my buddies, and it was it was scary as hell. I mean, I was I was I was also drunk at the time, but still, it was still scary. And like, cause of the giveaway thing, I said you guys could say that I could play any game, but you know what? I'm already gonna put a rule on it now. I'm not playing that game. Fuck that, and fuck anyone who thinks that I'm gonna play that game. No, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not doing it. Okay, after this tree, I think we should have enough wood. Got enough wood. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of wood. We, get, we got plenty of wood. Plenty to make a nice big abode. Just making some planks. Okay, so we're, we're good on planks. We got plenty of wood. Plenty of cool stuff. Just chop down a bunch of trees like true lumberjack. I'm gonna go over here. We'll probably replant some of these at some point. Also, did, did that skeleton drop a bone? He did not. Like it. What a bitch. He didn't drop a bone. Because bones are really cool because you can turn that into bone meal and it makes anything grow immediately into its full thing. So, you got a sapling, like a tree. It takes a couple days to grow in sunlight and all that. Bone meal, boom. It's it's good to go. And, uh... I, I see you over here, sheep. But I'm actually going to keep you there so I can shear you later. I hear something. I hear... S something is groaning and moaning and it's probably down here. Dude, what the hell? Oh, shit. Got, like, this little thing over here now? That's pretty cool. I hear something moaning. Like down here, but it's like moaning and groaning, like right here. Like there, mu there must be some like really big cave system underneath where my house is right now. That sucks. We need to find a good place to build this. We could build it out over the water, or, or we could build it on the ice. That would be cool, right? Oh yeah, you'll see there. You got a uh, octopi. I guess you would call them octopi. Look at that cute little octopi. Dude, there's a lot of them over there. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I think this would actually be a really good, cool place to build a house. Just like building on the ice. So, let's get to work, right? Let's get to work. We're gonna just go ahead and place... Uh, we're gonna make this a pretty big house. I mean, this is, this, is gonna be a, this is gonna be a nice house. This isn't gonna be like some cheap-ass little wooden abode. This is gonna be like a mansion of awesomeness. Ah, uh, gotta, yeah, I'm sure you guys want to see me just build stuff all day, right? Yeah, everyone wants to see that. Who wouldn't, right? I want to see that. I want to see people build houses. Um, we'll put the, we'll put the door there. We'll put a double door, actually, so. Gonna do all this cool stuff. Gonna probably go up maybe about five blocks high. And technically in this game, a block is a meter, supposedly. 
but um so like there's like this one achievement wait let's see here achievements so see you got all these achievements over here and it's just like do this do that build stuff i think they actually oh wait you can make an enchanter diamonds but yeah they actually added a lot more achievements before it was like just very few achievements but now you can like you can you can brew stuff holy shit that is cool I think she actually think I might do these uh things now these uh achievements cuz I mean like yeah these are pretty much the same like make a cake bake some bread um when pigs fly that's like basically riding a cow off a cliff um but yeah I mean next one is this one got a craft workbench with four blocks of wooden planks but eventually we'll get to the point of like I think it's like obsidian. I don't know what that is. Return to Cinder. The end. And that's where you actually kill the uh, the end boss. No wait. Oh wait. That the end is like the uh, killing the Enderman. I think. And then that one I think is where you actually kill the uh, final dragon boss. This game is becoming a more and more like. It's try. I think it's like a. It's starting to become more like a. Skyrim-esque game, like a role-playing game, like an RPG, that's what I was trying to think of. It's becoming more and more like an RPG where you get, um, like there's a boss and there's other cool stuff. And this, this looks like a good size for the beginning of the house, right? Right. Good. Glad you, glad you guys agree with me. This will be cool, though. I'm gonna build this house. Don't even tell me it's dark. No, it's not getting dark yet. Good. Sun's gonna set over there. That's weird though. The sun before was like rising over there and then setting over there, and now it's rising over there and setting over here. So somehow north, south, east, and west just got completely fucked up in the update. But it's all good. We now know where the sun is. Score. And I'm probably gonna get off here probably once I finish the um like oh shit. When I finish up like the third level of the house. I'll probably um, just end the video and go play some uh, Star Wars. Star Wars The Old Republic, that new MMO by uh, Bioware and LucasArts Film, I think. Or it might just be LucasArts, I don't know. It's that game, that MMO that's supposed to rival uh, World of Warcraft. And supposedly, I mean, like, so far, like, I'm level 25 right now in it, and already I, I'm finding it very enjoyable. Like, I don't even want to go to the raid tonight. I want to just play uh, Star Wars The Old Republic all day and all night. But I also do kind of want to make progression tonight, and I don't know if I'll be streaming or not, but most of the time it's going to be for the streaming of World of Warcraft and all that and just other random streams it's going to be Thursdays 8 to 11 p.m. Eastern Time on twitch.tv like twitch is in like like epileptic twitching and dot .tv similar it's owned by Justin TV and just go to um like twitch.tv slash baby done b a b y d u n n pretty much pretty much similar to my channel name and every single other character I've made in new games for like my let's plays and you guys should check that out it's thursdays and mondays 8 p.m to 11 p.m anyway now that i'm done with that little advertisement let's talk about other random shit um so i'm hoping this channel will grow a lot i mean like i really do want to make this like like a profession eventually like just something that like, i do and make money off of it from like sponsors and all that and I'm hoping really one like one day, and this is like a pipe dream sort of thing, like because I know a lot of people do let's play videos. A lot of people are a lot better than me, but I do hope to one day get like a partnership with Machinima, because like one of the guys that I've been watching for about two and a half years now, like I mean I've been watching him for a decent amount of time, is um, SSOHPKC. Um, he like he started his channel out with just doing um. Super Mario World hacks, and now he's a partner with, uh, like he has a partnership with uh, Machinima, and he even uh, does a bunch of stuff with the creatures, which are a bunch of other people who are either hired by Machinima or uh, affiliated with Machinima, and they do a bunch of cool stuff together, like uh, Minecraft, a uh, bunch of different games, like especially multiplayer games. Like they do a lot of like Minecraft multiplayer stuff, 
and other such fun activities. Anyway, so we just finished that third level of the house. We're going to go ahead and set this up so that we have like a little doorway, and I'm not going to try to bust my ass trying to jump over here. And now we got a little boat, and the sun's about to set. So we'll, we'll we'll book it back to the house. We'll probably make some steps here eventually, because I do plan on exploring the cave. Oh, that's not even a cave. That's just like a little underwater thing. I do plan on exploring uh, this cave that I found over there some point in this playthrough. But yeah, I didn't feel like recording any more Skyrim today. So there's that. I think my computer just beeped at me for some reason. Ah, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Wait, okay, there we go. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Anyway, so, that's going to end this here. Going to eat some pork. And we will be back next time. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you're wondering what my skin is, I mean, you can't really see it, but that's Reznov. Remember from Black Ops? Reznov. Reznov! Peace out.